Hey, what's up you guys? Guinea Piggies Designs here and today I am bringing you episode 15 of where I'm sewing things for my guinea pig cage. But real quick, for those of you who are new, my name is Brittany. I basically just sew things for your small animals and I do other random things. But in this series, what I'm doing is taking you guys step by step of how I would complete a couple of cage sets. And again, we are on episode 15 and in this video, this is what I worked on. All right, so basically in this video, all I really did was I started to turn everything right side out. So I turned the fleece for us, the corner for us, the one by one for us, and the two by one fleece for us. I just turned those right side out and I turned all the cage liners right side out. And I put the tunnels that I'm making out of fleece. I put the foam in their casings and I turned the pads uh, right side out. I also started sewing a little bit more on the fleece cubes. So that's what I worked on in this video. And also you guys, everything that I do use in this video is going to be linked down below in the description. So if you guys are wondering where I got anything, make sure you check the, the description down below. But anyways, if you guys do want to see how I turned everything right side out and set up the foam tunnels and all that I just showed you guys, go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so for the first step, what I'm going to do is to start working on the foam tunnels. So for this part, all I'm doing is taking my casing piece for the bottom part of the tunnel and then lay laying my foam on top of it and then I'm putting my hand into the hole and I'm grabbing one of the corners of the foam and I'm trying to pull the foam into the casing. Now once I got the foam into the casing I am putting my hand back in the hole and I'm trying to put the corners where the corners need to be inside of the casing if that makes sense. And then once I get the corners to where I need them to be um, all I do is I shake it out to where the fabric becomes even around the foam and then I'm going to go ahead and repeat this step with the top piece the only difference is is this piece is going to be bigger and then after I do that I'm going to pull the potty pads right side out so with those all I do is I grab in between the middle layers and I pull those out and then I'm going to repeat the same process to the second foam tunnel
I am moving on to the foam cubes. So for this part, I am making two foam cubes, but I like to start out by pulling the two removable potty pads for those. I like to pull them right side out. And all I do is I stick my hand in the middle most layers and then I start pulling it out. And then once I got it pulled right side out, I'll stick my hand back in and I try to push out the corners. And then I'm gonna move on to the top piece of the cube. So for the top piece of the cube, what I like to do is I like to add these ribbons to the top and that way you can kind of hook it to your cage to keep it in place if you wanted to do so. So what I do is I'm going to stick the ribbon along the seams. I'm trying to line up the ribbon to the to the edge of the seam if that makes sense. Um, with this part it's really hard to explain so make sure you go off of the video. Make sure your ribbon is facing inward and you want to do that in all four corners. And this is an option. You do not have to add ribbon to your cubes but again I like the look of it. And then I'm going to repeat the same process to the second cube. I am working on the 2x4 cage liners. So for this part, I am making four 2x4 cage liners. And all I'm doing here is I'm going to turn them right side out. So for this part, all I do is I stick my hand in the middle most layers, and then I grab the furthest corner and I try to pull that right side out. Now, once I get this right side out, I'm gonna stick my hand back in and I'm gonna try to push out the corners. And then once I push out the corners, I'm gonna shake this out to even out the fabric so it lays evenly and then I'm going to repeat this process three more times.
I am working on the 2x1 cage liners and for this part I am also making 4 2x1 cage liners and all I'm doing is the same thing I did with the 2x4 cage liners. I'm just turning them right side out and I'm going to repeat this 3 more times. one cage liners and for this part I am making eight one by one cage liners and all I'm doing is I'm turning them right side out just like I did with the previous liners so after you see me do one I'm gonna repeat the same process seven more times <laughs> two by one fleece forest now. For this part, I'm going to be turning these right side out. So to do this, all I'm doing is grabbing one layer of fleece and then sticking my hand in between that layer. And I'm grabbing the furthest corner and I'm trying to pull it right side out. Now, once I get it right side out, I'm gonna stick my hand back in the hole and I'm gonna push out the corners and then I'm gonna shake it out a little bit. And I'm gonna repeat the same process to the second two by one fleece forest. I am 
working on the one by one fleece forest. So for this part, I am making two one by one fleece forests. All I'm doing is repeating the same process that I did with the two by one fleece forest. And we'll repeat this uh, two more times. on the corner forest. So for this part, I am making two corner forests. And all I'm doing is I'm turning them right side out, which is basically repeating the same process I did with the two by one and the one by one fleece forest. The only difference with this one, this one has three corners. So when you stick your hand in, you wanna push out three corners instead of the four corners. And then I'll shake it out a little bit and I'm gonna repeat this a total of two times. <laughs> all the cage liners and the fleece forest I turned them right side out for the main part and I put the foam tunnels I put the casing inside of the fleece let me show you here all right so here I have all the fleece forest the cage liners the foam tunnels all set up and in my next video I am going to be working on these items here so I'm going to start sew in the couch some more. I'm going to sew around all the cuddle cups, the hooded houses, the hay bags, all the flannel items I'm making. So I'm going to go through this pile in my next video. And also you guys, everything I used in this video, again, is going to be linked down below in the description. So if you guys are wondering where I got anything that I used in this video, make sure you check that out. And if you guys are still liking this series, make sure you give this video a like. And if you guys do want to see more videos from me make sure you subscribe to my channel and I want to thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video all right Bye.